Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series I post every Wednesday where I chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I have a couple new products to show you here in the beginning that I did receive in PR this week. And then I just talk about whether I'm planning to pick up the new products or pass over them. So I always link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, welcome. Welcome to a new week of makeup releases. So I did, what did I do today? Let me tell you what I did in 116 degree <laughs> Vegas heat. My phone went off this morning with, what did it say? Like record scorching heat wave. I was like, oh, like girl, you wanted to get away from those Iowa winters. And Vegas is like, let me show you what's up. <laughs> let me show you. This week is like a very dangerous week for a lot, a lot of states, a lot of areas right now. So. Oh my, uh, but I did do a little bit of filming, which will be over on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. Today I'm testing out the Huda Beauty Glow Wish Skin Tint. So I recently did another shop with me at Sephora. I took you to the Sephora at Caesars Palace here in Vegas, and I bought quite a few things. I bought quite a few things. And when I did the haul video, I asked, I bought two different skin tints, the Tarte and then also the Huda Beauty. And I asked which one you would wanna see in a trying to makeup video with all of the new products that I grabbed. And the majority of comments did say Tarte. So I'm gonna film that video, I think tomorrow. And uh, so it will be up soon. And so I'm gonna use the Tarte in there. So I decided today to use the Huda one and then put that over on my Instagram so you can see how it applies. So that will be over there. And then Vegas OOTD. So today we're like business casual, you know, from when I go pick up my child from daycare, but just have like a little crop shirt here. And then this pencil skirt, it's not like a matching set. I think they're both from Laura's Boutique or maybe Express. I'm not sure I've had both of them for a very long time, but I was just kind of feeling like brown today <laughs> with like my makeup. And I just decided to go like all up brown, like brown and gold. I don't know, I've just been really into that recently. So yeah, I always link all of my makeup down below that I have on my face. That is my outfit of the day in this sweltering heat. Uh, and then let's jump into it. So like I said, I have a couple new releases. So if I receive anything in PR that I'm planning to talk about in this week's video, nothing that I've touched on in the past, I will physically show you the products as I talk about them because I feel like that just makes sense. And I got a lot of tags on these new releases from Kaja Beauty. They're coming out with new Beauty Bento Bouncy Eyeshadow Trios. So these eyeshadows are packaged in bite-sized stacks and they are $21 each and Kaja did send them over to me. So these are what the stacks will look like. And so we have neutral moment and these are ooh, all matte. Let me get the last one open. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so these are all matte shadows in here. So I love all of these tones for sure. And then there's a little mirror on the top one. And then the other one is called Velvet Dream. So same thing where these are all matte shadows in here, a neutral moment. I mean, they both really call my name. I think a neutral moment, like just maybe a little bit more. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that one out, but these are available now from Kaja and these, like I said, are $21. So I will have them linked down below. So thank you to Kaja for sending them over. I have picked up a Kaja stack in the past. I have another little eyeshadow one. I think it has two mattes and a shimmer in it. And I really didn't use it as much as I thought that I was going to. I thought it would be like totally perfect because I've always been into of smaller palettes so I thought the three pans would do great for me and then I was like you know what I think three is like not enough and I didn't use it all that often but I'm wondering if where my makeup preferences are now if I'll actually like these more I think I would have liked if maybe the top shade was a shimmer shade because I still am really loving like my my shimmers I have on the hourglass reflect today which I mentioned recently in my cream makeup starter kit video if you haven't seen it that went up yesterday and it's just such a gorgeous and easy to use shadow but I'm definitely gonna be trying for sure a, a neutral moment and see if since my makeup preferences have changed so much if I end up liking them a little bit more but I did do a haul on my Instagram I do have a highlight over there um so if you missed the last pr haul that i did on instagram i did also get the drunk elephant 
uh, new like liquid blush that came out so I do want to try that because I touched on that last week so, so that did end up coming in PR so I will be testing that out shortly also the release that I also received is from Sigma Beauty and they are coming out with the renew lip oil it says the nourishment of a lip balm and the shine of a lip gloss these are smooth non-sticky helps your lips look soft supple and juicy they are $22 each and there are four different shades of these so Sigma did also send them over and I was very curious to try them out because lip oils are very popular right now and if you remember a story it was was it in last week's will I buy it I can't remember when I filmed or when I mentioned this but I was in a doctor's office like waiting to get called and this woman on the radio was talking about the makeup trends and you know she was like powder products are out cream products are in liquid lipsticks are out lip oils are in and I was like okay girl get down with your bad self and so when they sent these over I was like well I have to try them because the lady on the radio said so so I do actually have one on my lips today and that is in the shade tint and I do have the ColourPop is So Happy lip liner underneath. And then I just added some of this tint shade on top because I thought that it looked really pretty. It is very smooth. It is not sticky at all. It's very comfortable. It feels a little bit more on, on the, the hydrating side because it's like a it's like a thicker oil, but it's still not sticky. It's not goopy at all. It just felt very smooth, like I was really liking it I was and I liked the the shade tint because it gave me just a little bit of color which is what what I like I felt like it made my lips look a little bit bigger and a little bit juicier like I think it said uh, in the caption there from trend mood one which I always link all the accounts I'm reading from down below so I am definitely going to keep trying these out and so they also came out with the shade hush which looks to be like a pretty light nude I think I'd probably also like that one there is the shade all heart which is a little bit more on the like dusty rosy side and then also the shade tranquil which looks to be more uh, of a pink lip oil so i'm curious if you are into the lip oil trend right now also and these are available on sigma i am an affiliate with them so my discount code is samantha if you're interested in picking anything up but i will definitely keep trying out the lip oils to give you my thoughts on them and I'm very excited to feel a little bit more on trend because I don't really have a lot of lip oils. I think I only have one from ColourPop, which shockingly, I actually did like that lip oil. I remember I reviewed it a couple months ago or whenever it came out, who knows at this point, but, and I was saying how much I liked it and I was surprised. Maybe I am a lip oil fan. I don't know what I am anymore, y'all. I just don't know what I am. Let's jump into some more releases. I don't really feel like we have a ton to get through this week, so... Um, maybe that's a good thing because I do have to pick up areas from daycare pretty soon and then head off to Fiesta Tuesday here at the complex. We have Fiesta Tuesday every week. We get food here. We have some margaritas. I don't know. It's really hot though. Like we're all going to be in, you know, sometimes we're like outside or by the pool. Like we're all going to be in the restaurant, <laughs> like trying not to be out in this heat because woo, it is something. Okay. Let me scoot over first. Let's not forget to scoot over Samantha. So I'll add in some photos and let's start off with a cream bronzer just for kicks and giggles, okay? Just kicks and giggles. So we have from the brand Say, this is the new Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This says has a balmy texture and velvety finish that allows for a seamless, buildable color. Let's see, it's supposed to nourish and visibly balance skin in four shades, and it's gonna be $28 online at June 14th. Oh, I really enjoy. This is a true, this is a true story. <laughs> out of all the comments the one that pops up first from shannon Shaw, Sh shannon shaw's beauty hi shannon it says i feel like merch beauty word would be all over this well shannon let me tell you i'm pretty interested in this one it's like there's only four shades and i feel like the dark and the deep look really similar and the light and the medium look really similar so i don't know uh um hopefully i would be able to i don't know i feel like i would go with the light so that means, I don't know. Oh, if there was just like maybe a few more, I think that would be really awesome. But if you would like to see me try this one, let me know. I did just pick up the Makeup by Mario soft sculpt stick or whatever that is. So I'm going to try it out. But, you know, I could grab it. I could, I could grab it if you want me to. Only if you want me to. I mean, yeah. There's a good chance. There's a good chance that's gonna end up in my cart. So there's that. Okay, let's move on. So we have from Artist Couture, it's like, what else do I say? Like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, yeah, okay, I'm interested in a cream bronzer. Moving on. 
So from Artist Couture, we have a new collection, the Supreme Bronze Collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette for $42. Also the Supreme Glow Head to Toe Perfection Oil for $45. This is to give your skin and hair a glow. Oh, okay. Okay, that's different. I like that. The eyeshadow palette is fun. I like that like pop of orange. It looks like there's some really fun shimmers in here. It kind of is... Sometimes I feel like for the summer... Well, it just... In general, right? Like because typically makeup brands follow trends and whatever is trending and on and that's what we usually see a lot of the same like types of releases or types of shades or types of themes i feel like this is like a little bit on the different side um with some of those pops of color in there but it looks really fun for summer like you have kind of like a darker mysterious side and then like kind of this more punchier side with the gold and the orange that's fun um i did just pick up the patrick ta palette so i'm probably gonna be testing that one out and then i do want to test that kaja stack too so i'm probably good to skip over it the head to toe perfection oil i am getting more into like body oils or like i just bought the fenty uh body sauce product so i don't think i would absolutely need anything from this collection right now but i definitely think that it looks cute definitely think it looks cute uh we also have some palettes coming out from kimchi chic beauty and these are some cheek some cheeky threesome okay blush trios by kimchi chic beauty each trio has three complimentary blush shade blush shades these are going to be 19 dollars each i will not lie when i was scrolling through trend mood and i saw this i thought it was the new anastasia blush trios and or like face trios and i just kept scrolling and then i was coming back a second time making sure i hadn't missed anything and i clicked on it because i thought i for some reason i don't are the anastasia's different shaped pans i can't remember off the top of my head but i was like Hmm, these pans all looked the same size and that's when I clicked and I saw that it was actually kimchi chic beauty So, um, I don't know. That's where my mind went to first But I, I just I don't think that I need something like this right now I'm definitely also leaning more towards the cream blushes like I looked at the new Pat McGrath um, blushes at Sephora But they're powder, you know So I'm going to pass over this. <laughs> a couple new uh, indie products are coming out over on Indie Makeup Spotlight. So we have from Davina Cosmetics. This is the Halo Moon Collection. There are new mattes and also a site-wide restock is now live. So looks like we have the new collection, which I believe is pictured here. And then also some of the restocks. Davina Cosmetics does have some really nice single shadows. I wasn't into my singles for such a long time now i definitely am i kind of want maybe i should pull out my i have a couple different palettes with a bunch of my singles in there maybe i'll try to get some use out of them even though i'm kind of going for um like what i mentioned in my makeup uh cream makeup starter kit like the sigma eye base the hourglass shadows like even the ColourPop singles and the auric i'm kind of going for those types of products right now a little bit more on that like cream side also but i could totally grab some out from davina but if you've been interested in trying out their shadows they really do have some fun ones uh so they have the the new collection and the restock happening now and then from odin's eye cosmetics we have the full reveal of the new sega of freya collection i'm not sure i'm saying that correctly um but th this is going to be launching on june 20th so it looks like we have a few different uh palettes we have a brush set, a brush cleaning box, a cleaning sponge replacement, or a velvet cosmetic bag as a gift with purchase with three eyeshadow palettes and the brush sets. Okay, so I think I've seen a couple videos go up or at least some photos go up um, from these palettes. I know I have quite a few friends that really, really enjoy uh, Odin's Eye Cosmetics. So I actually received a pretty generous PR package from them like four days or something before I left my old house in Iowa and drove out here to Vegas. So I just had to immediately pack everything up and bring everything out here. And I've been slowly, um, you know, pulling everything out and unpacking all of my makeup and all of that. So I still need to try what they sent over. So I would like to try that out definitely and kind of see what I think. But this is going to be launching on june 20th on the odin's eye cosmetics website okay heading back over to trend mood it looks like we have a new collection coming out from ColourPop, and this is their uh new ColourPop and hello kitty collection so i know ColourPop has done hello kitty before have they done it twice before or is this the second one i don't know so we have four pan eyeshadow palettes there's also blushes a lippy scrub and a glowing lip balm set will be available on uh, june 17th okay 
So uh, I don't think I'm going to grab anything from this. I did get the neon collection that they sent over and I want to try at least one of the palettes that came in that collection. Um, I do like the lippy scrubs from ColourPop, but again, I kind of mentioned I'm just some of their collections. I'm just like not as, as, as hyped for these days. So I'm going to pass over that one from Hello Kitty, but I'm sure a ton of people will be very excited for it. Uh, let's see, from Bessemer Cosmetics, we have a new collection with Disney. They do a lot with Disney. Uh, this is the Ultimate Princess Collection and includes your favorite characters in a series of 12 pieces. Each set includes a refillable metal enameled compact and matching lipstick. It's $125. There are only 500 units of each set and limited to one per customer. The first launch is the Bell set, which will be available on June 29th. Oh, okay, so they're going to have it, like it'll come out at different times. Oh yeah, so we have June 29th, Mulan is July 13th, Ariel July 27th. That's really nice that they give the dates and like they show everything that's going to be coming out so we don't have to like guess and wonder. Um, so that's very cool. So if you really love, you know, your Disney princesses could be an option for you. I mean, it's pretty expensive, which Best May usually is. Um, I do enjoy Disney. Um, my, my alter ego in college uh, name was Jasmine. <laughs> The character in my first book I ever wrote was Jasmine. Um, I asked the other day on my Instagram for an alter ego, like makeup wise name, um, <laughs> because of my like Sephora haul video. Cause I just went, like I just walked into Sephora at Caesars and was like, the oyster, the oyster is mine. <laughs> the oyster is definitely mine. I said that like the world is my oyster. And I was just like, ah! and I said, uh, I need an alter ego makeup name and i asked for suggestions on instagram oh i i was reading them by the pool with some friends here from the complex and we were just laughing one person said max credits <laughs> and we could not stop laughing <laughs> that might be the winner like you could call me max but my my full name is max credits there was a lot of play on my last name like um Samantha April uh, and, and different things like that. Samantha January, which I thought was funny. There were so many good names, but Max Credits just really seems like a Vegas name. <laughs> really seems like a Vegas name. Oh, I was laughing so hard, you guys. Well, I don't even know what I was saying. So it's it's kind of expensive. Uh, again, I do like the Disney princesses, but probably not going to be something for me. Okay. Uh, we, oh, another eyeshadow palette that I missed. This is available now at Ulta. This is with Buxom in collaboration with Ash Holm. Uh, includes an eyeshadow palette which has 12 shades for $39. I'm not super familiar with the collaborator myself. Oh, um, an LA makeup artist and educator. Perfect. Oh, she's super beautiful. So how exciting for this collaboration. Uh, again, palettes are just not kind of like speaking to me right now. I like that there's neutrals. I like um, some of the purples in there looks very fun. Buxom doesn't usually have my favorite eyeshadow formula and because it's not what I'm leaning towards, uh, I'm going to pass on that one. And then from MAC, we have what's next for the MAC Underground program. This time they're celebrating Pride 2021 with the Liquid Last Liner Vault. So we have 11 new eyeliner shades in a vault, 24 hour waterproof, limited to only a thousand pieces. 100% of the selling price will go to the Hetrick Martin Institute through the MAC Viva Glam Fund, which is a great fund, uh, which helps to fight for the empowerment of the LGBTQIA community. Will be available June 23rd online at MAC. Okay. So that's fantastic. Love reading that. Love seeing that. Love being able to share that. Uh, I think that's incredible. I, I don't really use products like this myself. I very rarely am wearing eyeliner these days besides like on my waterline. But um, so just not my particular uh, makeup vibe, but I'm sure so many people will enjoy it. And, you know, it's, it's nice to know that it's benefiting a good cause also. Uh, then we have from Naturum, these are their new Fido Glow Lip Balms. All right, so these are going to be $12. You can apply onto lips through the day to nourish and hydrate, or they're also great as an overnight mask. Will be available June 17th online and also in Target in July, at Target in July. Um, okay, so I don't think that I would need something like this, especially with Sigma sending over their lip oils, and I, I think that I would probably be pretty good uh, with this one from Naturum. So... I'm going to pass. I haven't tried the brand yet either. So I'll pass on that. And then speaking of like a lip balm, this is a, a new lip sleeping mask from Laneige. Uh, this is in the peach iced tea. 
This is uh, $22, it's the Levon mask. I've been wearing the Laneige lip sleeping mask for years now. I continually repurchase that one. The one that I have right now is a purple one. I'm trying to think, is it like grapefruit or grape? I can't think of which one it is, but I really enjoy it. And I'm actually kind of scraping the bottom. This just like sounds refreshing. If it's still, sometimes these ones are limited edition. If it's still available, I always, like I said, I always repurchase it. So I would repurchase it for sure. This one is enriched with vitamin C and antioxidants. Um, yeah, I would buy this one. If it's still available by the time it comes around that I need it, then yeah, I would get that one. See a new favorites set at Sephora, which I always enjoy seeing these come out. So we have the Sweet Picks Summer Essentials. This is gonna be $30. So we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, a full size of the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original Lip Gloss, full size of the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush and Summertime Wine, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry, <laughs> the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfoods Hair Mask, a nice mask and a full-size sephora clean face mask pineapple uh the pore perfecting and smoothing all right so i really enjoy seeing the sephora sets they pretty much call my like they they pretty much make me do a double take every time just to see i used to be so obsessed with these i had them in so many videos in my early youtube days um and if i think something is a good value or there's a lot of things i want to try i'll grab these myself with this particular one i don't think i would need it Watermelon does not go nicely with my skin, so the glow recipe would be out. Um, I have a Fenty blush, the Laneige lip sleeping mask I have. I have the Briogeo hair mask, and then also pineapple. I, I'm a little leery of putting pineapple on my face also, so this one would not be one for me, but if it sounds like products that you would like to try or check out, you know, could be a good value for you. And then I think just the last one that I have to talk about also got a lot of tags on this one. This is from Pharmacy. This is their new Honeymoon Glow Body, 12% AHA BHA Resurfacing Body Serum. All right, so this is to soften rough areas and target bumps with 10% lactic acid and 2% BHA, quickly delivering visibly smooth glowing skin. Uh, so this is gonna be $40 and does it say, it's available now, okay, and at Sephora. I feel like brands have jumped into only my head and have been like, Samantha needs some help with her body. What should we be doing? Because <laughs> Kopari just came out with like a pink souffle body mask. I used it the other night on like my hips, my legs, my booty. Um, and it's kind of, kind of, supposed to be similar to what this pharmacy product is, like smooth everything out, make things a little bit softer. And we have the, what is it called? The Bump Eraser from First Aid Beauty. That's not a new, new product, but I actually just received it. Um, so I'm gonna be trying that one out. Now we have this one from Pharmacy, especially since living here and I'm pretty much at the pool like every weekend. I mean, again, it's like, it's so hot here. Like what else are you gonna do? So I'm at the pool pretty much every weekend or I'm just like wearing, you know, dresses or tanks or whatever. And I'm, I've never really been the most body confident person. I've had cellulite and stretch marks since I was 15 years old and it's definitely been like, just like a sore spot for me. Um, and so I, I've been really trying to put extra focus into taking care of my entire body from head to toe, like even focusing like on my elbows, constantly putting hand lotion on, on, you know, I'm in the desert now, I can feel my body getting so dry. I put lotion on when I get out of the shower and then I put a, an oil on, like really trying hard. So I used that uh, Kopari mask the other night. I definitely wanna try um, the First Aid Beauty product also, but this one too, I love the Honeymoon Glow for your face from Pharmacy. I think it's a great product. Um, I've gone through, what well, I think I've gone through two of them now at this time. I think it's a great product, so I would definitely try this out for my body too. I don't think I would need it to grab it right away since I do have those other two products, but I would surely try this one out, just like pop it in my shower or something. Like I would give that a try for sure. So I'm living for all these body products coming out, which is pretty rare because I never used to, but yeah, you know, I just feel like everything's changing these days. So you just never, you just, what am I gonna be into next? I just, who knows? But other than that, that is it for this week's Will I Buy It video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about all the products that I mentioned. What are you interested in trying out? What do you wanna see me try out? Again, stay tuned for that full face of that Sephora haul. That will be coming up shortly. Other than that, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.